Hello, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a fuller video because uh, I'm currently working on a commission for Society Street and Newer Market and then we did a promotion video for them. I was up yesterday following the, the market that was outdoors and I said we were five years since it's opened them and the building was built in 1938. I forgot to mention that in the video but uh, ultimately it went well. I got a uh, free cake and then I was editing the video from them last night and with that said, this is going to be a fuller video as I was saying because I have all this footage like lying about my computer and some of it's actually quite good so I just tried to scrape together while I could So I switched to the phone camera because my laptop is a bit rubbish with the sound so uh, with that said, hopefully you enjoyed today's video If you have any questions that you want to ask, or if you want to get any photographs taken, by all means come forward. We don't bite. Your name? Christopher Sherrod. And uh, why is. Let's see. Can you tell me a little bit of history about the siege? Yes, uh, the siege of Derry started uh, on 8th of December 1688 and finished uh, on the 1st of August 1689. It lasted 105 days. There was upwards of 20,000 people um, rammed inside these city walls and there was upwards of 10,000 who died, mostly of star starvation um, and disease. Mm. Why is it important to keep history alive? It's important to keep history alive because for the younger generations coming coming forward, they, they need to know who they are and where they, where 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 their family their family history came from. It's also important for the tourist industry as well, and it also helps ensure that the businesses, uh, especially within the city, have have a passing trade. I can tell you a little bit more about your equipment. So this is the Twelve Apostles on your bandolier. We have, uh, with a bandolier here, which has, which is called the Twelve Apostles, which twelve, there's twelve canisters which hold priming powder for the, the musket. We have then another canister which holds, sorry, this holds a main charge. This one holds a priming powder, and then we have a ball bag here, a wee leather ball bag which holds the musket balls for mm. whenever you're going to fire the, the flintlock musket. And uh, can you tell me a little bit more about this cannon position beside you? Yes, this, this is a, a two pound field cannon. Um, I, can, I can fire probably a, a two pound cannonball um, at, at a great distance. Um, the, the cannon, what, what you would use for the cannon was we would, we would use um, a main charge of powder and then we would use priming powder for to ignite the cannon. Um, and as you've probably seen from earlier on today, it can make a loud bang, you know. Um, these cannons were used mainly in the 16th and 17th century um, as a, a way of taking out large, large, a large amount of soldiers at the one time. So depleting, depleting the regiments in the whatever army that the, 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 um, the cannon crews were, were basically uh, aiming at, you know. So, um, as we went into the 19th century then, they've kind of done away with cannons and then that's where you, you've now got your resistance and stuff like that there. And last question, do you have anything you'd like to add to the end of the video, such as thoughts about the history of the siege or uh, about history? Well, what, what, what I can say is that if any of your followers are watching this today, that Derry, stroke London Derry, or the Maiden City, as most of the happens call it, as a, as a fantastic place to visit. It's full of culture, it's full of tradition, and it has got the only completed circuit um, walls within Ireland. 
so if you come here you won't be disappointed. Thanks very much. Right now we're talk of uh, George Walker's plump or as memorial used to be here and uh, it was built during 1826 and it was finished in 1828 and George Walker was the governor of the city during the siege and because of their victory they wanted to dedicate a big memorial to him right here where I'm standing but during the troubles um, on the day, 27th of August, 1973, um, to destroy the bomb attack. So that's story behind us here. And a wee bit, a wee bit of facts about it. It was 90 meters high. The pillars you stand here, and there's 110 steps to up the top of it. And from what I know from this information sheet here. In the siege museum, there's actually the head of the statue that's still there. Now, if I get time, I'm going to show it to you. And uh, what else? They have a little replica of it also in the museum. So that's all for now. So right here now at the first, Darius First Presbyterian Church here. And uh, they were granted, let's see. The church received a donation from Queen Mary in 1690 due to the Presbyterians' efforts of uh, protecting the city during the siege. And Whenever that was being built, they actually used St. Augustine's Church located up here as their place of worship, but then they got their own location to go worship, uh, their own location to congregate, and uh, let's see. The church was rebuilt in 1777, and there's new frontage, which is this part here, which was built in 1903. That's all for now. right here beside me is George Walker's head which is actually on the pillar which I showed you here earlier and it was destroyed on 27th of August uh, 1973 and that's the real head to there in the siege museum and a few facts of George Walker he was he stood in with Colonel Robert Lundy he uh, fled the city and then this one let's see the city and then he took over as governor and because of his success he was uh, commemorated as you see up here too and then uh, he fought in the Battle of the Boyne with King William and they died there fighting King James' army so that's the story behind George Walker and there's his head there from the actual um, statue it was once there here in the city Right here beside me is the Mount Joy, which uh, in the 20th of July, 1989, uh, the Mount Joy, along three other ships, four ships all together, they were coming into the, the city to relieve it from the forces of King James. And they came across a boom, which is like a, a barricade across the river, and HMS Shallow cut the the fastens on the boom and then uh, the ship Mount Joy broke through it and the captain was called Captain Browning. The reason why he volunteered to go from London to here to the city was because his wife and his relations were within the walls at the time and he didn't make it unfortunately to meet them again. He was uh, struck with a bolt to the head from a musket and on the I was saying the 20th of July 1989, the city was relieved and then there's actually a quote here from uh, Thomas Ash. I'll just have to read it because I don't know the uh, off by heart. So Thomas Ash recorded in his diary that the to July 20th was, quote, was a day to be remembered with thanksgiving by the siege of Derry as long as they live for on this day were delivered from famine and slavery. So that was the quote right up here. And that's the ship, re replica of it.
So as I said you before the silly slogan, Vita means life, Veritas, truth, Victoria, victory, and that's in Latin. So I'm going to tell you a bit about the closing of the gates ceremony. It happens on the first Saturday of September every year. The Friday night before it, they fire off one cannon, so one shot, and then three simultaneous shots after it, all together. So it represents 13, so one shot and three shots, so 13, because it represents the 13 apprentice boys who shot the gates during the siege of Derry in the 7th of December, 1688. And the apprentice boys, one of the parent clubs, they uh, they march from Ferry Key Gate to Bishop's Gate, which is up this direction, and then they march to Butcher's Gate, which is just down here, and then they also march to Ship Key Gate. They signify them the apprentice shutting the gates. That was a can go off, but uh, I'll turn it down in the video uh, and software. But uh, they celebrate that every celebrate that every uh, year and during the siege the Saturday of the siege or the see, see they celebrate the shutting of the gates they also fly crimson flags up this here direction here Walker's, George Walker's bluff and they also burn effigy of Colonel Robert Lundy who had abandoned the loyalists during the siege of Derry or London Derry and that's another thing too, I'm trying to keep this as neutral as I can. So I'm going to refer to the city as the city rather than give out the names. So that's all for now. So thanks very much for watching today's video. If you want to see more content such as this, give a like and subscribe if you want to see more content. Um, these are small little things, but they actually help me out a lot because whenever I see likes in my video, it tells me people actually enjoy my content and uh, they're engaging with it. And the more likes I see, the more incentive I have to create more videos. Also, subscriber count, it's great that it's slowly climbing up and the more subscribers I get gives me more incentive to create bigger and better videos. And that's about it on that. At the minute, I've got video commissions to do. Uh, I was following as uh, Claire and Jay Bradley um, some music videos for them. And then I was with Society Street Under the Market. I was tasked to make a promotional video for them as well yesterday. Uh, 5th of August because it marks their 5th year anniversary of opening up and definitely recommend you go up and check them out because they have local businesses there they sell wood, uh, second hand clothes and they sell uh, new t-shirts like uh, Japanese style t-shirts and they sell, they also have a cafe in there as well they sell vegetables and eggs and uh, renewable items as well so that's uh, just a very small sip of what they do and also toys for children but with that said I was planning to make this video uh, as part of a siege museum video but the thing is the Saturday who I interviewed somebody it was great that I was able to get an interview I was meant to interview somebody else up there the following Saturday but the thing is I, I took all that that week so I couldn't go up so that was unfortunate then because I had the society on the market to follow them, I couldn't follow them yesterday because it was me and site festival yesterday, but it overlapped with my commission work. So that's all for now. Or I'm still working on videos for all our people, but I'm planning to do some more vlogs as well. So after my pro show video I do for the society street on the market, I'll let you see um, one of my weekly vlogs. I'm not releasing that until I get the okay from the boss. And that's all for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you in the next one.